Hey everyone, today I would like to show you one of the easiest ways to calculate the time difference in a standard time format in Tableau. Let's say we're working with a biometric login system, which authenticates users and records their login and logout times. And our task is to calculate how long each individual was active in a system. So our original data set looks something like this, where we have user information and two timestamps associated with each user. When you bring this data into Tableau, the first thing you should always check for is that your data type for your timestamps is set to date and time format. Because we're going to be using date functions to perform some basic calculations, our data needs to be in the right format. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first calculation. For this calculation, we'll simply compute the time difference in seconds between the login and logout time for each user. So for that, we're going to use the date diff function our date part in this case is going to be second. Our second argument is going to be the login time. And the third argument is going to be the logout time. And this is going to give us the total difference in seconds. Let's change this continuous field to discrete and bring it into the view. So now that we've calculated total number of seconds difference, we're going to extract the hour part, save the remainder and convert it to minutes and seconds. All right, so to find out how many hours goes into the total number of seconds, we need to divide the total number of seconds by 3600. So let's go ahead and create another calculated field. We're going to call this calculated field total hour difference. And then we're going to take the total difference in seconds and divide it by 3600. We also want to make sure that we round down the integer or the resulting value. So we are going to be using the floor function for that. So once again, let's convert our calculated field to discrete and bring it into the view. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at our result. The total hours are calculated correctly, and this is exactly what we want. However, the number format for the hour part needs to match the standard time format. If we have a single digit, it needs to have a leading zero in front of it. But if the hour part is two digits, we need to leave it as is. So we are going to modify our calculation slightly and append the leading zero. Okay, so let's go in and edit the total hour difference calculation. And the first thing we'll do here is we're going to convert the statement to a string using the str function. And then we'll use the write function to append the zero. Okay, so let's have a look at what this gives us. Let's bring the total hour difference back in the view. And now we can clearly see that we have our leading zeros. And finally, all we have to do now is convert the remaining part of the hours into minutes and seconds. To calculate the remainder, we need to use the modulo operator, which is a mathematical operator that allows us to check how many times a particular number goes into another number, and it returns the leftover difference. So essentially the modulo operator gives us the remainder after division. Let's duplicate the total hour difference calculation, and now we're going to edit it. So first of all, let's go ahead and rename it as total minute difference. And now we're going to change this part of the calculation. So instead of dividing our total difference in seconds by 3600, we're going to use the modulo operator, which is a percent sign. This is going to allow us to keep the remainder of the hour part. And then we're going to divide the result by 60 to find out the minute part. Let's bring this calculation into the view. And now we have our total minute part. So to convert the remainder into seconds, we're going to duplicate the total minute difference. We're going to edit the calculation. So you're simply going to take the remainder and divide it by 60. And this is going to give you the remaining part of the minute converted into seconds. So once again, we're going to rename this as total seconds difference. Let's go ahead and save it and bring it into the view. So now that we have our total hour, minute and second part, all we need to do is combine those three pieces of information together. Let's go ahead and concatenate this result into the final standard time format. So once again, we're creating a calculated field. This is going to give us total duration. And now we want to take our total hour difference 
and then we're going to add the total minute difference to this. And for the last part, we're simply adding the total difference in seconds. We're going to go ahead and save it and drag it into our view. And that's basically it. So now we've calculated the time difference in the standard time format using a few simple calculations. You can download this entire workbook by following the link above. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Tableau tutorials.